hi everybody welcome to gt coding in this tutorial series we are creating this website using react.js and uh, if you go to our browser here we can see we have designed all of this and we have also made all of these uh, sections responsive now in this video i'll show you how to make the mobile navigation menu work so if i decrease the width of this browser window here we can see for the mobile version we have this mobile navigation menu now we want this to be displayed only when we click on the menu icon and when we click on this close icon this uh, menu items should disappear so we're going to do that in this video let's get started now before starting with our mobile navigation menu let's go ahead and check whether these menu items are working all right so let's click on course details and we are taken to the course details page but here we can see that it directly goes to that section we want to have a smooth scroll so let's go to our uh, css and we'll just go to the index.css file so here we have all the global css and uh, here for the html i'll just add scroll behavior and i'll just set it to smooth and now if you go back and if i click on course details we are smoothly taken to that section let's click on about and we are taken to the about section and uh, here we are taken to the blog section and then we are taken to the testimonial section but for the about section here we can see that all the content is not displayed correctly so we need to have some margin at the top so let's go ahead and do that let's go to the about section which is called info so let's go to the info.css file and here i'll just add some margin top for this info content so i'll just have margin top and i'll just set a margin top of 60 pixels and now let's go back and here we can see now if we click on about here the content is displayed correctly so now everything is working all right now let's go ahead and get started with the mobile navigation menu so let's decrease the width of the browser window and uh, let's go to the nav bar and here we can see this is uh, the mobile navigation menu so here we have this division with the class of mobile menu container and uh, here we have the jsx file so this is the division right here now what we're going to do is we're going to add a class called active to this uh, mobile menu container when we want it to be displayed and when we want it to be hidden we'll just remove the active class so let's add some styles for that so here i'll just type mobile menu container dot active and here by default i'll just set the position of this mobile menu container to the top of the screen so here let's type transform translate y and here i'll just type negative 100 percent and now the mobile menu container is out of the screen at the top now when we have the active class we'll just type transform translate y and i'll just set it back to zero and we'll also have a smooth transition so let's go ahead and type transition and I'll just set it to all and for the duration I'll just type 1200 milliseconds and for the easing I'll just type cubic bezier and I'll just type some values I'll just type 0 0.3 0 0.96 0 0.59 and 0 0.95 so this is the value that I came up with you can go ahead and experiment with different values over here right now if we go back to our browser here we can see that the mobile menu container is not being displayed but if you go to the navbar.jsx file and if i add the active class over here and now if you go back here we can see that the menu items are displayed and if i remove the active class it goes back now the next thing we need to do is we need to add and remove the active class based on whether we click on this icon so if we scroll up here we can see we have this division with the class of menu icon so here we need to add an on click event so what we're going to do is we're going to use react state for this so here before the return i'll just create a state so i'll just type const and i'll just name it is active and for setting it i'll just type set is active and i'll just set it equal to use state now for this you also have to import use state from here so here let's type comma and in curly braces let's type use state right now we can use the set is active to set the active class to true or false so by default i'll just set the active class to false so i'll just type false over here right now let's scroll down and let's go to the menu icon and here i'll just add an on click so i'll just type on click and here i'll just create an arrow function and uh, 
here let's tap set is active and I'll just set the active class to true now what we're going to do is when we click on this menu icon division we're going to use set is active and we will set the is active variable to true so now let's go ahead and here for the mobile menu container here let's add some javascript to add and remove the active class so i'll just add this inside backticks and we have to add all of this inside curly braces right now here let's type dollar symbol curly braces and here we will check whether the is active variable is true or false so let's type is active and if it is true then we're going to add the active class and if it is not true then we're going to set it blank so this is how it works we can see that we have this division with the class name of mobile menu container and then for the active class we are just adding an if condition so if the is active is true then we will add the active class to this uh, division and if the is active is false then we will not add any more class so now if you go back to our uh, website and now if you click on this menu icon we can see that the menu items are displayed over here now let's do the same for the close icon but when we click on the close icon we need to remove the active class so we need to set the is active to false so here for the close icon let's add an on click and here let's type set is active and i'll just set it to false right now let's go back and if you click on this close icon it goes back and if we click on this menu icon it comes back let's also move this icon to the left a little bit so that both the menu icon and the close icon are in the same place so let's go back to the css and uh, let's go to the close icon and here i'll just set the right position to 48 pixels let's see how it looks and i think we need to bring it to the left a little bit more so let's try 54 pixels let's try 60 pixels and i think that looks all right right now when we click on any of these uh, menu items we need to close this uh, mobile navigation menu so if i click on about we are going to the about section but this navigation menu should go up so for that we need to add the on click to all these menu items so let's go back and here for the mobile menu icons let's go ahead and copy this on click code from here and let's paste it for all these anchor tags so here i'll just type on click set is active to false let's do the same for all the other anchor tags right now let's go back and uh, now if we click on this blog menu item we can see that we are taken to that section and uh, the mobile menu container also disappears so everything is working all right all right so that's basically it with the mobile navigation menu and with that we have completed designing the whole website now from the next video we will start creating the backend so we will use sanity io for that and we'll fetch some of these details from the backend so we'll fetch the details of the posts and also the testimonials from sanity io we will start doing that in the next video so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day